So I've got a quick intro for you today as I'm heading up to Penns Creek in the morning, solo camping for a week, just me and the river. In fact, when this video is published, hopefully I'll be knee deep in the stream. So I wanted to tie something that I'll be using when I'm up there. And looking at the hatch charts, there is a small blue wing olive hatch up there in September and October. And by small, I mean small bugs, size 16s to 22s. So I just tied up a handful of these in size 18s. And I did cheat a little bit on the wing. That's why I'm calling it an easy blue wing olive. Instead of hackle tips, which are hard to tie on flies as small, I'm using a synthetic Xelon for the wing. So this fly won't be as elegant, but it is a lot easier to tie, and I think it'll fish just the same. So there it is in the vise. Pretty typical blue wing olive. Now I'm calling it an easy blue wing olive because I'm cheating a little bit on this wing here. Now from what I hear, the ones on Penn's Creek are pretty small, so I'm going with a size 18. It's a standard length barbless dry fly hook. And I'm gonna catch in some olive thread, take it back to the start of the bend. Now for the tail, just a few barbs from a uh, medium done hackle feather here. This is probably about 10 barbs right here. We'll make it kind of long. I'd say at least a, a body length here. And let's see, okay, that's gonna work. Just try to keep it on top of the, the fly there. And do I need to snip that on front? Nah, it's short enough I can bury it. Go ahead and take our thread up here. We're gonna catch in the wing next. And this is where I'm cheating. Just a single strand of Zelon here. This is a, a light done colored. I wanna catch it in a little bit longer than I want. We'll trim it in just a second. So go ahead and immediately go into some tight wraps here. Several going back and then trim the back piece and, and save this. With this three inch strand of Zelon, you can get several flies. Now I'm gonna prop it up. Try to get it about 90 degrees. We can always use the hackle as we wrap it to kind of position this wing, but this right here will give us a head start. Now take the thread to the back, put some wax on it. Now take your choice of dry fly dubbing and an olive or blue wing olive color. And I'm gonna use a micro fine. I like synthetics on these kind of dry flies. Just, it sheds water a little bit better. Now it's not gonna take a, a big noodle here. I've probably got more dubbing on here than I want. So see, that's a pretty fat one. I'm gonna try to thin that out just a little bit. Might even need to take a little bit of it off before we get all the way up. Yep, I'm gonna pull a little bit of this off and then just try to get it a little bit tighter on my thread here. Okay, that body is not too fat. I think we can live with that. All right, now, Let's catch in our hackle. And from the same cape, I took that tail, just another medium done dry fly hackle, this time one to one and a half times the hook gap. And we'll catch it in right behind the wing. Got a little bit of dubbing still on my thread, but that's gonna be just fine. And we're probably gonna want two wraps behind the wing, and then maybe three in front of it if we can pull it off. But before I wrap this hackle, let's go ahead and trim this wing to size. And I wanna cut it maybe just a little bit taller than that hackle is gonna be. I think that's gonna work right there. Okay, now let's just wrap it. See if we can get two full wraps behind it and then two, maybe three in front. Okay, I'm not gonna get three in front, but I don't think we need it. it. Doesn't take a lot of hackle to float these really small flies. I think that what we have on here right now is gonna be just fine. A Couple of tight wraps to hold it in, and I'm gonna try and pull all these back and make some room for my whip finish before I snip that piece. I might be able to pull it off, and I might trap a few fibers going forward that we'll have to clean up. But that happens. Got a few right there. Let's whip finish it real quick before any more fibers poke forward on us. It 
Now we can snip this excess feather right here and take care of the couple of ones sticking forward up there. I think we're, our eye's still clear, so we have a fishable fly here. Just want to be careful that you don't close up that eye right there. And I'm getting pretty close to clobbering it, but I think I can get my 6X tippet up in there. So that's it, my friends. Size 18 Blue Wing Olive. Now I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.